As the uh, devastating news and the uh, catastrophic proportion of the earthquakes became known, the immediate uh, reaction of the Swedish EU presidency was to help alleviate the plight of the people in Turkey and Syria. And today we have seen the result of our common uh, initiative. And on behalf of the Swedish presidency, I am, of course, very proud to announce that the generosity of the European and international community has amounted to 7 billion euros in total. Of course, this contribution will not bring back the lives that have been lost. It will not undo the grief and trauma that millions have suffered. But still, it is an important step to ease suffering and help people and communities recover. Our support will help to uh, provide shelter for families who have lost their homes, supply food, water, sanitation for people facing hunger and disease, and protection for the most vulnerable in this crisis, including children. Our Swedish contribution of more than 44 million euros will be channeled through our UN and Red Cross partners and international and local non-governmental organizations, whom I want to thank for their tireless and important work in this tragedy. And as we have seen in the presentations today by our Turkish colleagues, the UN family and the World Bank, the needs on the ground are enormous. Meanwhile, in Syria, some of the most vulnerable people in the world now face additional hardship. Sweden remains one of the largest humanitarian donors to Syria, and we look forward to the Brussels conference on the Syria crisis in June as a continuation of our engagement. In Turkey, we look forward to engaging with our Turkish colleagues as well as with our partners on the ground in the recovery and reconstruction of the impacted areas and communities. And in the wake of the earthquakes, Swedish support has involved civil society and also private initiatives. This work will continue and remain a joint and sustained effort between the Swedish government and other parts of the society, including the business society. I want to thank my friends Oliver and Mevlut for excellent cooperation from the beginning when we met in Ankara to where we are today. And uh, in short, I reaffirm that this conference does not mark the end of our support. We stand with the affected populations in Turkey and Syria today and tomorrow. Thank you.